If you're anything like me, you love a good DIY project that delivers impressive results. There's a unique sense of accomplishment when you transform a set of parts on your desk into something truly remarkable. Many of us have tinkered with the Raspberry Pi to create cost-effective music streaming solutions. Audiophonics took this a step further, crafting a DIY kit that offers a high-quality sound and features typically found in more expensive systems. I'm going to walk you through the assembly process, compare it to other streamers on the market, and ultimately share my verdict on whether the Audiophonics Evo Saber kit deserves my stamp of approval and a spot in your music setup. I'd love for you to slap the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to get notified whenever a new video is born. Let's get to it. I had a couple of Raspberry Pi 4 units laying around collecting dust, well, as well as value since they're practically unobtainium right now. Well, over a year ago, I had built what I called the Pi-Fi. What I called the Pi-Fi. Using DAC hats from Hi-Fi Berry and Aloe. I never expected to stumble upon Audiophonics' Evo Saber DIY kit where it takes a Raspberry Pi 4 and pairs it with an amazing DAC, dual screens, and a sleek alloy case. If it's one thing I have learned from previously reviewing their amplifier, style is definitely something they don't compromise on. Now, I'm not an engineer, and I'm sure many of you understand that, but some might not consider assembly to be true DIY. However, for those of us who don't solder components onto PCB boards, this kit still offers a hands-on experience that I would consider DIY. The instructions provided by Audiophonics are incredibly detailed and easy to follow. I'll include a link to them in the description below. It took me under an hour to assemble the kit, mostly because I was, you know, filming the process. Without the camera, I believe I could have completed it in about 30 to 45 minutes. I'll also share a link to the screwdriver set I use, which came in handy for the variety of screws included in the kit. For this unit, I am using Volumio, which is my favorite user interface for all my audio-related Raspberry Pi projects. It can also support Diet Pi and Mood, in case those are interfaces you are more comfortable with. I used their installation guide and was able to get everything up and running very smoothly, very quickly. More links in the description are available to be able to successfully install the software and plugins to get everything dialed in. One aspect I particularly appreciate about this build is the thoughtful design of the fit and finish for the Raspberry Pi. It sits snugly on the DAC board and there are precisely machined holes at the rear of the unit, ensuring a seamless integration with the Raspberry Pi. Examining the connector panel from left to right, you'll find a balanced XLR output and an unbalanced RCA output. Next up are the digital inputs for the DAC, which include a coaxial connector, optical connector, USB-B input, and a Bluetooth antenna. 
in case some of you are into Bluetooth. Lastly, the connector panel features a dedicated DC input jack for the power supply, followed by the Raspberry Pi 4 connectors. These include an RJ45 port, USB 3, USB 2, HDMI video output, and a dedicated SD card slot for the operating system. On the front of the unit, the kit includes two separate screens for added functionality. On the left, you'll find the Evo Saber audio circuit display. This display shows the active input sampling rate and volume as determined by the DAC, the ES9038 Q2M chip controller. The secondary display, on the other hand, retrieves real-time playback data at the software level, allowing you to view artist and song information while enjoying your favorite tracks. The knob in the middle of the front panel controls the volume and can navigate through the different sources which are displayed on the smaller screen. Now, the button on the far left features a switch designed to safely power the system on and off, ensuring the integrity of the storage media. When the module is in standby mode, but still powered, the switch is backlit, indicating that the circuit is ready for operation. It does come with a remote control that can be used for convenience. However, I find myself controlling everything via the Volumio app. But if you are running a different streaming device to the DAC, then I would imagine that's when the remote control would come in most handy. As an aside, the power supply they included was a Meanwell switching power supply. These are great quality supplies and I believe you can add it on for like an extra 24 euros. I found the design to be overall quite clever as it offers the option to use this kit as a standalone DAC as well. This flexibility comes in handy if you decide to switch to a different streaming solution or even a CD player. Additionally, the unit can connect to a NAS drive or a hard drive loaded with all of your music on it, making it versatile for a range of applications beyond just a Raspberry Pi streamer. The Evo Saber employs two 32-bit ES9038 Q2M Saber chips from ESS ESS's, ESS's flagship series integrated in dual mono mode. Each chip dedicates its full processing power to a single channel of the stereo signal. This design results in an exceptionally clear sound reproduction with remarkably low crosstalk. Aside from the DAC chips, Audiophonics integrated some really remarkable components on that DAC board itself. I will leave a link to their spec page where you can just totally geek out on all that techie stuff. Now, if you're a CD fanatic like me, you'll appreciate the ability to connect an external CD drive, like a computer CD drive, to the USB inputs on the Raspberry Pi. It is recommended that you power the drive independently. To try to do that. Volumio features a convenient option that enables you to rip CDs as FLAC files directly on to a connected hard drive while organizing your music within the app. This is a fantastic feature that I will most certainly use. You can also play CDs from the drive, effectively transforming the Evo Saber into a CD player as well. I do, however, recommend finding a quiet CD drive, as many low-cost options can be a bit too loud mechanically for my liking. If you decide to go with the Apple SuperDrive, I made a video on how to configure that with the Raspberry Pi. Check it out right here. Another great aspect of Volumio is its ability to stream from your Rune core, transforming the Evo Saber into a Rune endpoint. I genuinely believe there are countless more features to discover, and as Volumio continues to evolve, I'm sure we'll see even more impressive capabilities in the near future. As incredible as the feature set is on this unit, what's most important to me is the sound quality. Let's find out how it performs. Before diving into my evaluation, I researched online to see what others had to say about this unit. Audio Science Review, known for its rigorous and unforgiving approach to measuring audio components, gave the Evo Saber a high praise. This positive feedback boosted my confidence in the unit's performance. Since it had a volume knob, it can also function as a preamp. I paired it with my Amp Camp Amp Mini and a set of Klipsch RP600M2 bookshelf speakers. The smooth frequency range genuinely amazed me, especially considering the horn-loaded tweeters that typically emphasize mids and highs. Now, the ACA Mini is no slouch, it has a beautiful sound on its own, however, with its power constraints, I felt Eclipse's forgiveness when it comes to the need of a lot of juice made that just a perfect match all around. I played several tracks from my latest playlist of the week, available on my website, check it out, and was captivated by the silky smooth sound. The soundstage was just phenomenal, the bass deep without overpowering the mids and highs, and the dynamics were just perfectly balanced. I was tr truly impressed, I was like beside myself. While I didn't have low expectations for this unit, I hadn't anticipated the remarkable performance it actually delivered. 
Initially, guys, I was a bit nervous about how everything would turn out. But after the straightforward assembly and getting everything set up, I was just astonished by not only the sound quality, but also the sheer number of features packed into this unit, all thanks to the versatility of the Raspberry Pi and Volumio combination. I've seen other components with you know a similar feature set priced far higher, costing thousands of dollars more than the reasonable 449 euros, which is the retail on this unit. The key takeaway here is that it's entirely possible to achieve fantastic sound quality from a DIY project. Even if you have little to no technical knowledge, following the instructions makes this a manageable project for anyone who's ever put together a Lego set. I highly recommend the Evo Saber as a Swiss army knife of music streaming solutions. If you enjoyed this episode, I highly encourage you to steal the like button soul, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified every time a new video is born. With all that said and done, I will see you on the next one.